obviously that I do not create a plan for the painting ahead of painting it. Mm -hmm. It means simply that I'm putting down uh, color and shapes and letting the painting evolve, you know, as I think about it uh, and I combine elements of the both organic with the geometric, which is more like architecture, and then with a series of motifs that I've settled on perhaps in the last 10 years that are to me uh, meaningful. That can be done with color and it can be done with spatial play, but it can also be done by thinking about how one paints it this way versus that way. Two things. One is the big dot surface, and then if you see surfaces have very small and more intricate dots, that's from something that's like a, I call a bus wrap. I just use it as a stencil to create an atmospheric layer, rhythmically and with control. I can I can do any number of these things that I enjoy. started to take place were initially the big whale-like, you know, fish that are here. And, but it's, it's more movement depending on the, the size. Everything in this painting is moving in circular floating. There's prose and poetry, there's fact and there's fiction. These are fiction and they're poetry. Uh, so there's a transition of color that comes down. I build with gravity and, and building these uh, uh, this kind of combinations of forms. And then at the same time, I've created these sort of uh, overlays of atmospheric particles, you know, that again suggest atmosphere, you know. So our eyes pick up nuances that create composition order in places. You look at our sun and you realize it's a star. And then you look at the stars and realize that all those stars are suns. Something happens in my mind. When I'm in the studio, I like to meditate on that. That's how I like to spend my time in that kind of mental space. It's the same time that I found out that my wife was pregnant with Celia, I was with my mom and we're looking through these telescopes, I'm talking to this uh, astronomer who's explaining that one of the teams came from Chile and they're doing this, um, this work over the course of three years. Every night they're imaging 10,000 different galaxies every single night for a year and a half. They start over after a year and a half. They do the same 10,000 galaxies each night in order. They're looking at all these together and you know, basically triangulating how fast the universe is moving apart, or is it ecstatic, or is it compressing? Like figuring out sort of some of the biggest questions that I can imagine. And it's like three people on the top of a mountain in the middle of a small town in Texas. Humility and awe were the things that um, really struck with me in that experience. And I realized that that's kind of where I want to be when I'm making this work, meditate on that feeling. And I love color. So they're not kind of rigorous academic depictions or descriptions of reality. It was more about creating an atmosphere or an environment. The next one over, there's another step added. So there's some sort of inflation, deflation, inflation, deflation happens. I wanted to make a picture just of a grid. It was kind of going to set the stage for some sort of activity. I want them to feel like they are um, sculptural objects.
with paintings on top of it. They're not just a window into another place, they're actual an object, like a tablet, stone, a, uh, a template or something. 